here at Car Smart TV with Jason and uh, just got some cool stuff we're gonna go over uh, really really cool conversion that we did uh, we had a golf cart that came in it's you know in the 90s um, we haven't had much time to do many videos so sorry to you guys for not posting more info and doing more stuff we've just been so so busy uh, I got more golf carts and I know what to do with the work on right now but we wanted to bring you this really cool one that we've had a chance to do. Uh, had a customer that had a 1990DS uh, club car model. Um, <clears throat> was having problems with the old resistor stuff, and which is common for that model of golf cart. And we got to talking with the customer, wanted to, you know, get him to weigh some options about what he could do. Uh, you know, obviously go solid state, you know, do a series kind of stuff. We decided to go with the option of doing the AC conversion swap. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, hopefully it'll help some of you get a better understanding about, you know, going AC and what it does for the, the uh, longevity of battery life, the motor, uh, you know, it's obviously brushless system, so you'll never have to change brushes. Um, that's what really AC is, is really pinpointed at, is for the efficiency um, of battery life <clears throat> and we are still using wet cell batteries here too we, we did not go lipo no need for it really in this type of situation now you can absolutely can but you're looking at a lot more money involved in that when you can get away with still using wet cells and have a good 48 volt system because that's what this customer chose was the 48 volt system and uh we we enjoy what it's capable of doing here still under a, a bunch of testing and making sure all our parameters and programming is set properly which is which is nothing because with the kit that we used um, you get a application that you download on your cell phone that sees everything that the cart is doing seeing all the operation going on in the controller to the motor so it's a really really good system and uh, if you like if you like what we're doing here, just give us a like and a subscribe, and uh, we continue on trying to make videos for everybody out there. It did, you know, different scenarios, different problems, how to help you guys get it figured out. But um, enjoy this, guys. Thanks a lot. 1990 Club Car DS. Used to be the old resistor style cart. This customer stated that just wasn't enough for him power wise and it's obviously not gonna be enough for a lifted golf cart with these big wheels and tires on it just doesn't have doesn't have the power to pull so we got to talking with the customer and we gave him a few options so uh, he decided that he wanted it to be a beast and um, we talked with him more about what kind of terrain he was riding on what he wanted out of the golf cart we ended up going AC drive. We did an AC drive swap to this golf cart using a, uh, a old school. It's not old school because it is. It's built by a gentleman <clears throat> that can set these to work with the new stuff, but they work great because they have an easy, uh, easy installation. It basically is a plug and play system. Um, the wiring harness runs basically along the same particular area that the old wiring harness of the golf cart would run. There is our motor. It is a Navitas AC drive kit. You've got the um, heavy duty solenoid that is uh, 400 amp compatible, or controller, sorry. Uh, really simple to put in also went 48 volts instead of 36 like these carts very commonly come with uh, we also was able to change the forward and reverse system on this golf cart uh, we went from the handle style which would be common for your you know later resistor cart rocker pod plus it's super easy the wiring harness is just a plug and play into the back of the rocker switch there Basically, what we have done here is turned an old 1990 DS into a DS-precedent uh, because we used precedent factory wiring harness 
um, upgraded all our cables to make sure that we would get proper voltage flow and um, just used a 48 volt charger that you are able to swap the ends on and see that plug there that gives me the the access to plugging in the easy go style 48 volt if i needed to <clears throat> directly to the cart's charger um so yeah we've uh we've almost completed this job we're working out some of the the parameters that you program into the controller uh, at this moment but this cart is absolutely fantastic it will pull anything and it is pretty fast as well uh, we're reaching you know 33 miles an hour with the space that i have here to ride but it's still pulling speed after that or wants to pull speed after that so this kit is absolutely fantastic for any of you guys that go on you know use them for hunting or uh riding around a farm anything that's got hilly terrain um and even if you wanted to have a standard height riding golf cart that looks really cool with some nice and wheels on it and you really want it to get some speed and and all that good stuff this is the kit for you to do um it's like i said it's really easy to install it took us a whole day basically to tear out all the old crap here and then put in all the new stuff and then it'll take you probably a few hours to set the golf cart how you want it to ride because they come with many many different settings and Navitas is one of the top brands for this controller and motor setup uh, you, you can't beat what they offer nowadays um, but this is what we've been doing and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe um, even share this around so that maybe uh, somebody can get some use from these videos um, anybody has any questions please feel free to contact us we will do everything we can to get you fixed up if you're interested in this guys um, y'all have a good day check us out again another time thanks a lot